हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल अनफॉर्म विद डॉक्टर अतहर परवीन दिस इज द सेशन टू ऑफ साइंस पेडोगॉजी वेरी मच यूजफुल फॉर कर्नाटका टी 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 जी टी एच एस टी आर एंड जी पी एस टी आर सो इन दिस सेशन आल्सो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट साइंस पेडोगॉजी क्वेश्चन ओके सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब राइट नाउ and also if you are liking my work please like my videos and also keep sharing my videos among other tet aspirants and also we have a telegram channel you will find the link of that channel in the description below this video please do click that link and join the telegram channel that is the one way where you can directly connect to me because we are discussing lot of uh, important concepts and many multiple choice questions based on a teacher recruitment examinations and teacher eligibility test okay so let us start the class first question of this session is what does differentiation mean in the context of science education the options are teaching the same way to all students adapting instruction to accommodate diverse student needs ignoring individual learning preferences encouraging memorization so by seeing the options only you can decide that the correct answer is adapting instruction to accommodate diverse student needs this is one method known as differentiation which involves the tailoring of instruction to match the students abilities and learning styles okay so with this type of uh, method students can adapt instructions and because uh, different students have different needs in order to understand the concepts so this method will accommodate all the diverse students with the different uh, needs and uh, capacity to understand the concept okay next question which assessment type requires students to apply their scientific knowledge to solve real world problems and the options are multiple choice test rote memorization project based assessment memory recall test so the correct option for this question is a project based assessment because project based assessment is the one which judges or which assesses the ability of the student to apply knowledge to practical situations okay that is what we call as a real world problems okay so if the student is been given some project and then the student is assessed based on that project then surely the teacher will be able to assess the ability of the student wherein the student can apply knowledge to the real world problems okay next question a teacher uses a combination of lectures discussions and hands on activities what approach is the teacher employing so the teacher is using a lectures discussion and hands on activities together that is in the combination of these three methods so which approach is the teacher employing either it is single teaching method lecture centered method integrated teaching or lecture based teaching so clearly the option the right one for this question is a integrated teaching integrated means the word integrated means only combining okay they say integrated msc integrated phd right so integrated msc involves bsc also okay integrated phd involves msc also so integrated means only combining so integrated teaching is a combination of different type of methods in order to fulfill the needs of different learning styles of different learners okay next question how can a teacher foster a positive attitude toward science in students the options given are by focusing solely on theoretical knowledge by avoiding any hands on activities by connecting science to real life applications by discouraging questions 
so by seeing the options only you can do odd one out by discouraging questions no teacher would like to do that by avoiding any hands on activities no teacher would like to do it correct so by focusing only on theoretical knowledge no teacher would like to do that also so the remaining option is option c by connecting science to real life applications because uh, showing real life uh, importance makes science more engaging and more relatable to our daily life thus the reason why a teacher would foster a positive attitude towards science and students by connecting science to real life applications okay next question what does metacognition refer to in the context of science education so what is metacognition options are teaching strategies memorization techniques thinking about one's own thinking peer assessment so metacognition actually means thinking about one's own thinking this thing uh, metacognition it actually involves understanding and reflecting on one's thought processes so whatever see before uh, i start my lecture i have some thought process in a, in my mind right so that is only metacognition okay so thinking about one's own thinking is known as a metacognition and this is very much important in the context of science education okay without planning or without a good thought process it is impossible for a science teacher to take a good class or uh, conduct a good session among the learners okay clear right next question what is the primary purpose of using concept maps in science teaching encouraging rote memorization promoting competition among students organizing and visualizing connections between ideas replacing textbooks so the primary purpose of using concept maps in science teaching is organizing and visualizing the connections between the ideas because these concept maps they are actually helping students in understanding the relationship between the scientific concepts okay so organizing and visualizing connections between ideas uh, is the primary purpose of using the concept maps in the teaching of science okay next a teacher invites a scientist to speak to the class about their research what teaching strategy is being employed so a teacher invited one scientist to give a lecture in the class about whatever the research is being done by the scientist so what is the teaching strategy the teacher is employing here so here the teacher has invited a guest speaker who can bring the real world expertise and experience in the classroom of the teacher okay you all must have uh, experienced this uh, guest speaker thing usually they start uh, uh, guest speaker procedure from the high school only so a good scientist or a good uh, successful person is usually invited into the school or into the college or into the class to motivate children and to Uh, bring out the real world expertise and experiences among the students in the classroom okay next what is the primary goal of using formative assessments during instruction so what is the main goal of using the, this fas during instruction the main goal is uh, identifying the learning gaps because this uh, fas are conducted within a short period of time right so once the learning gaps are identified by the teacher the teacher can work on learners by keeping these uh, learning gaps in mind and the teacher can improve the students for a essay correct for the summative assessment okay clear right so formative assessments are helping teachers identify the areas where students need the further support okay option b is the correct answer for this question next question which of the following strategies can help make science content more accessible for diverse learners so the options are 
using only one teaching approach ignoring individual learning preferences incorporating multimedia and visual aids relying solely on verbal explanations so among these four options which one is the strategy that can help make science content more accessible for diverse learners so the correct answer is incorporating multimedia and visual aids because visual aids are usually accommodating different learning styles and they are also improving the comprehension of the learners so that's why multimedia and visual aids they are always a good method in order to make the science content more accessible for diverse learners okay so option c is the correct answer for this question next what is the primary focus of inclusion in science education the options given are excluding students with learning difficulties tailoring instruction to meet individual needs teaching only the brightest students using a single teaching method see in this type of question also you can remove the odd options and finally reach to the correct option like no teacher would like to use one single method right for teaching so option d is removed then teaching only the brightest students is a very wrong method to apply so option c is also removed next tailoring instruction to meet individual needs can be the correct answer so excluding students with learning difficulties would never help any teacher improve his or her students in the classroom so option b tailoring instruction to meet individual needs will be the primary focus of inclusion in science education because uh, what actually inclusion means inclusion means involving adapting instruction for all students whether the student is having learning difficulties or student is a bright student or is an average student whatever type of a student is there in the class the teachers main aim to teach each and every one in the classroom and make the concepts clear correct so inclusion is usually involving adapting instruction for all students not only those students who are bright but also those students who are having learning difficulties okay option b is the correct answer so friends in this session we have learned that without the preparation of pedagogy also especially the science pedagogy one can give the correct answer to the given question if you understand the question properly and many chances are there that you can remove the wrong answers and reach to the correct option for that particular question now let's discuss few very important questions which have been asked in karnataka tet 2022 question paper okay so the first question from this part is principle involved in the deductive approach is so which principle is involved in the deductive approach simple to complex rule to example example to rule or known to unknown so deductive approach involves rule to example okay next question a ball rolling on any surface come to stop after some time the content category represents the above statement is so the four options are concept generalization fact procedure means the question is uh, a ball rolling on any surface come to stop after some time so this statement either it is a concept based statement or generalization based statement fact or it is a procedure so the correct answer is that it is a concept based statement okay next question a teacher in a classroom asks question at the end of each teaching point covered the type of evaluation adopted by teacher is of course it is a formative assessment because after each point the teacher is covering the teacher is asking the question so it is a short term assessment right so it is a formative assessment next question experimental method of teaching is more appropriate than demonstration method the reason for this is the options are experiment was conducted interaction takes place on experimentation students get self experience in experimentation 
it inspires the students while conducting experiments so the correct option for this question is uh, students get self experience in experimentation so experimentation is the best method of uh, demonstration among the students okay next question which of the following is not a purpose of organizing science fair see read the question carefully okay the question is which of the following is not a purpose of organizing science fair the options are to stimulate a greater interest in science among students to stimulate science hobbies to stimulate people's scientific talents to stimulate to display charts see among the given four options three options are a purpose of organizing science fair which is not a purpose of organizing science fair is uh, to stimulate to display charts okay so option 4 will be the correct answer because other three options are a purpose of organizing science fairs okay okay friends so this was uh, today's session on science pedagogy meet you in the next part of the science pedagogy till then all the best take care bye